Hello, beautiful, gorgeous, and amazing people. I am finally back with a makeup tutorial today. And the reason why I haven't been doing any makeup tutorial is because here in Italy, the weather has been literally the craziest thing ever. And today is like the first day where you can actually do things and not sweat at the same time. Maybe, I don't really know. As you can see from here, wait, where is this? Okay, okay, we will see what happens while we do this video. And today, I really wanted to bring to my channel the espresso makeup, which is like another trend outer than the latte makeup, you know, that I normally do as my really go-to glam. So. I will try to leave like some clips of inspiration that I will have and we're moving directly into the reason why I'm like speaking so slowly and whatever is because with this weather outside my brain can really function so I'm like I'm so sorry but I swear to god I will try to make you know the best out of this video as you can see also like a little like spot you know, update. As you can see, my skin is slowly getting better. It's like slowing healing. So, you know, with this weather outside, I haven't really been so motivated to actually shoot a video. But I was like, you know what? Ever since today is like a little, like the situation outside is like a little better. I was like, okay, let's get everything, you know, prepped and ready and let's just shoot a video so i've already like i've also like changed my you know setting let me you know tell me which one you prefer okay so as you can see like here this is like the place where i sweat the most like this part like my chin area is like literally you know the end of the world i also have a very updated base routine it's like a little lighter because like again the weather outside trust me don't really know where you're from i don't really know what's the situation like in your country but here in italy it's like crazy so again i would try to leave some you know pictures and like inspo for this espresso makeup and we're moving into the thing like the makeup routine so Let I have, as always, done my eyebrows, which perhaps I haven't, you know, refilled. I only, like, brushed them through with my all-time favorite brow gel. Wait, I'm just going to be showing you. Okay. And now, moving into my eyes, I'm actually going to be taking this Egyptia dark brown eye pencil and I'm going to put it all over my lid and then we're actually going to be blending it out with my makeup by Mario which I really have to say this I'm like so happy that it is like finally launching in Italy like um you know with Sephora Italy and I'm like so happy like this is the moment I've been waiting for and I literally can't wait to get more products. Because again, I got this palette when I was in Toronto, like last year. And, you know, it was the only one left on the little, like, you know, shelves and etc. And I was like, you're coming home with me, baby. We get here with a flat brush like this one clean one. I'm actually going to be taking this color right here, just dabbing and smoking it out. Just making sure it is so smoked out. Because like this espresso makeup is like on like the brown colors, but it is like more intense than the latte makeup, which I'm like so happy that it was like a trend because I've been, you know, doing that look for like so many years and all the time 
every single person was like okay i get it but this is like so basic and whatever and now that it is finally getting the credits that you know he deserves i'm like yes thank you so much you know i think that you just have to wait for the right time for like things to blow up and just go because like i've been doing that kind of glam ever since i you know started like doing glams and everybody was like oh my gosh you always get like the same look we get it it's like nothing special and whatever and now that it is like a trend and every single person is just like you know getting their glance done that way i'm like huh now you get it trust me now you get it because that is like the most perfect type of glam because you can wear it in multiple occasions and i really really love glams that you can actually pull off you know in way more than just one occasion because they're like simple, easy to do, everybody can do that because there's like this old like, you know, misconception that if you are good at makeup and you are a makeup artist, then you can go ahead and do like, you know, more glams, which is like not even true. It's all about using what you know how to use and like empowering your techniques. And trust me, once you get there and once you, you know, get like the perfect glam for yourself and the perfect um technique for your skin and yourself and you know how to, to how to embrace your natural beauty you're there you don't have to be a makeup artist trust me okay so once i am there and i've actually smoked the eyeshadow a little more with a fluffy brush like this one you can go ahead and take whatever fluffy brush you like always taking the same eyeshadow but actually mixing it a little more with this one so that I can create, you know, the very perfect transition color. And I'm actually going right here and smoking it out all the way. But I'm also not really bringing it, you know, too much on my brow bone because I really wanted it to be clean. And I work my way in with circular motions just to make sure that I really get the perfect blended eyeshadow look. Okay, so once we get this very blended eyeshadow with a black eye pencil, you can pick whatever, we are going to be drawing a line look, you know, just to make sure it's kind of like a cat's eye. Okay, so as you can see, I've done my other eye also. I'm actually blending out my base makeup, which if you like see that already like structured and whatever, is because I'm also shooting like a bunch of content for Instagram and TikTok. And I'm going to be blending it out with this very 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 fluffy brush which i've been so loving okay i am so more into a very natural base and not really getting like too much product on my face because that is like the main thing for me in like this summer Okay, I'm not actually completely blending everything out because now I will be taking my beauty blender and just going in to make sure that everything is like, you know, very into my skin. Now I will be going in with this Nabla Cosmetics Close Up Smoothing Pressed Powder in the shade Light. Usual. You know, taking this brush, look up as always. Okay. And I'm just going where I know that my face will, you know, start looking oily. Or bronzing as always Kylie Cosmetics the same brush 
dabbing off the excess. For like this espresso makeup, we're actually going to be a little like heavier on the, you know, bronzing. So we're actually going to be layering our bronzer a little more than I usually do. Going on my forehead, as always. So as always, I'm going with my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand all the way here, because it's like what really gets me in these days. Okay, because like for this espresso makeup, you know, the base is like very bronzed, very glowy. Okay. Now, just pressing everything into my skin with my beauty blender. Just going in again with my bronzer, just to make sure it's like so very blended out. Okay. Wait, let me change the lighting. Okay, it's way better. Now I am actually going with the same eye pencil that we used for our lids on my waterline. And we are going to be, you know, blending everything out with the same shades. So just to make sure that I look up because I don't want to be blind. Just like this. Taking the same brush, if I find that. Here it is. Taking the same shades and even like the lighter one, dabbing up the excess and just looking up and blending every little like part out. Okay. Just connecting this part to my, you know, upper. Oh my gosh, I love this look. Okay. Taking a fluffy brush, taking like this white and this very beige, you know, and just going under so that it blends out but also it gets you know off of the darkness it removes some darkness okay just like this part right here wait let me i can't with this eyeliner okay going to again on my waterline with some black pencil always look up and just go the opposite, the opposite side of your pencil with your eye. Okay. Now I'm actually going to be applying some lashes because I haven't applied any lashes for like way too long. And I went to get again, to buy again, once again, my all time favorite lashes that are the Naked, like the Ardell lashes, naked lashes in number 424. It's like amazing. I love these lashes so much. And I will see you once I actually find both my lash glue and my tweezers. Okay. We're actually going to leave them there until... This little like white zone dries out that is like the glue that is like totally normal don't worry it will actually dry out done i did my lip look mixing the smart fusion lip pencil by kiko and the l'oreal paris 
with Balmain like in shade Urban Safari, which is like such a gorgeous, like nudie. It's like a very sort of like Kim K typical nude lip look. So this is like a little, you know, like close up of the lows up of this espresso makeup. Okay, just trying to do something like nice with my hair. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you recreate this look. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, both Makeup on Gigi. You can find the, you know, the link in the description box. And I love you so, so much. Thanks for the support and see you with like more looks. Love you.